We making truffles. Yeah, we making truffles. Yeah, we making truffles. Yeah. <laughs> Just in time for Valentine's Day weekend, Copper's Cove Ice Tea is getting ready for the third annual Chocolate Fantasia. 25 News reporter Nikki Simon live now at SC Lee Junior High with more on what's happening there. Sounds good, Nikia. Yes, it does, Joey. They're going to be creating 2,000 treats, baking 2,000 treats, the red velvet truffles, cupcakes, bacon. And joining me this morning is Chef Bobby from to Table, chef here at the um, Junior High School. We were making truffles over the break, so we whipped the chocolate chip cookies, yep. and now we're going to roll, roll them, them in a ball. So All right. They're about an inch big. Perfect. So while we're rolling these into a ball, hopefully this will make it on the table, but if it doesn't come out perfect, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just tell me a little bit about just your experience working with these students and creating more more things than just baking. You all cook as well. Yes. Um, we have done, um, other than the Fantasia that we do almost every single time it's done, it's been three years now, um, we have made Amish friendship bread, which the kids love to do that. That's a 10-day process. Um, they actually make it from a starter, make it grow the whole nine yards. So it takes 10 days to make this bread. Wow. And they love doing that. Um, we do sugar cookies at Christmas. We do um, pumpkin rolls at Thanksgiving. They love those this year. Um, they were like, we don't like pumpkin. <laughs> and I was like, well, these really don't taste like pumpkin. And they learn that they like it. Like it, it's getting them out of their comfort zone and teaching them to try something new. And these students are also, they, they paint as well. And that will be also yes. something that people could do. There um, will be artwork mm -hmm. on display at the Chocolate Fantasia. Um, they can come in and view the artwork while they're walking around and eating their chocolate and truffles. And they get to vote on who had the best um, dessert there. So they get to walk around with their little faux champagne <laughs> and their little plate and they get to be famous and for the a, night. And having a great time. Just yes. tell me a little bit about the process that you all have to go through to today to just make sure that all of those treats get to the event. And you all did 900 here at the junior high school yes. um, so far. So what's, what's next for you all? Um, once we do this tonight and everybody shows up and we serve our community, um, they're going to take that and go to um, Special Olympics with it. That's going to fund the, the kids who need, you know, to put on Special Olympics this year. And then after this, for us, we're going to start our growing process. Wow. So we're going to get our garden going and our hydroponic garden going and everything like that. And then um, they are wanting to make pasta. So we are going to venture into the land of pasta, and I'm going to teach my children at school here how to make pasta from scratch. And you create this curriculum from the bottom up. I yes. mean, each and every um, dessert, food yes. item that the students create, you uh, create that curriculum. Can you just tell me a little bit about what goes into it and what you enjoy about it? <clears throat> what goes into it? Oh, everything. <laughs> um, well, actually how I do it, um, at the beginning of the year, I sit down with all my students and I'm like, y'all tell me some things you want to learn how to do this year. Like, what made you want to take my class? So once they decide what all they would like to do, then we narrow that down. Um, they take little votes on it, narrow it down to what they want to do. And then we go from there. Like, we try to make something at least once a month. Wow. So sometimes that doesn't happen with testing and different things we have to do as a school. But most times we're doing something about once a month. Um, we've held fundraisers, like uh, two years ago we did the, um, what did we do? We did charcuterie boards. Wow. That was a big hit because that was put out district-wide. So the event tonight is begins at 5.30, ends yes. at 7.30. Just tell us a little bit about the location. Um, you are going to come to the Civic Center on Avenue B. Um, it is literally right in front of the city park here in Copper's Cove. You cannot miss it. And uh, to purchase tickets, it will be on our website at kxxv.com. The $12 tickets will end at 3 p.m., so you want to rush on over there. And, Joey, I'll probably bring you back some truffles because, well, Chef Bobby's looks better than mine. But <laughs> <laughs> if you want them, you can have them. Beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. Thanks so much.